In the late 1950s, in a small laboratory tucked away in Buffalo, New York, Wilson Greatbatch was hard at work on a project that seemed destined to change medicine, or so he hoped. An electrical engineer by trade and an inventor by passion, Greatbatch had always been fascinated by how technology could solve human problems. At the time, cardiovascular diseases were claiming millions of lives each year, many due to irregular heartbeats. Doctors struggled to treat these conditions effectively, relying on bulky external defibrillators that shocked patients back to life but offered no long-term solution. Greatbatch wasn't working directly on heart treatments, he was developing a device to record heart sounds for medical research. But one fateful day, as he tinkered with circuits, something unexpected happened. While assembling a prototype, his hand brushed against a tray of components, and he absentmindedly grabbed a resistor with the wrong resistance value, a fraction of what he intended. When he powered up the circuit, it emitted a rhythmic pulse, a steady mechanical beat that echoed through the room. It sounded eerily like a human heartbeat. At first, Great Batch froze, his mind raced. Was this a mistake? Or was it something more? He listened intently to the pulsing hum, realizing its potential almost immediately. This could regulate a failing heart, he thought. The idea struck him like lightning. A simple electrical signal could mimic the natural rhythm of a healthy heart, stabilizing those whose hearts struggled to keep pace. But not everyone shared his excitement. When Great Batch pitched his concept to medical professionals, they dismissed it as impractical or too risky. Implantable devices? Impossible, one doctor scoffed. You're talking about putting electricity inside someone's body? Do you know how dangerous that is? Others laughed outright, calling it science fiction. Yet Great Batch refused to let skepticism deter him. He believed deeply in the power of his idea and in its ability to save lives. Determined to prove his critics wrong, Great Batch threw himself into refining the invention. For two years, he worked tirelessly in his modest lab, testing prototypes on animals and perfecting the design. Each failure only fueled his resolve. Late nights blurred into early mornings as he wrestled with technical challenges. How could he make the device small enough to implant? How could he ensure it wouldn't fail after days or weeks? And most importantly, how could he power it reliably without needing constant replacements? Then came another breakthrough. Realizing that battery life would be the key to making the pacemaker practical, Great Batch partnered with a battery manufacturer to develop a lithium iodine cell, a revolutionary advancement that extended the device's lifespan to up to a decade. This innovation transformed the pacemaker from a fragile experiment into a dependable, life-saving tool. In 1958, Great Batch's perseverance paid off Dr. William Chardak, a surgeon at Buffalo's Veterans Administration Hospital, agreed to collaborate with him. Together, they prepared for a groundbreaking procedure, implanting the world's first successful pacemaker into a human patient, a frail 77-year-old man whose heart had been failing for years. As the team gathered in the operating room, tension filled the air. Would the device work? Could it truly restore a heartbeat? When the pacemaker was activated, the entire room held its breath. Then, slowly but surely, the monitor displayed a steady rhythmic pulse, the unmistakable sign of a beating heart. Tears welled up in the eyes of the surgical team. For the first time in years, the patient's heart was stable. Not only did the device save his life, but it also gave him nearly two more years of quality living, a gift unimaginable before the surgery. Word of the success spread quickly, yet widespread adoption remained elusive. Early pacemakers were still relatively large, required frequent maintenance, and faced lingering doubts from skeptics. But Great Batch didn't stop there. He continued to innovate, shrinking the device, improving its reliability, and proving its safety over time. By the 1970s, pacemakers had become a standard treatment for heart conditions, saving millions of lives worldwide. Today, modern pacemakers are marvels of engineering, equipped with wireless monitoring, programmable settings, and even AI-driven diagnostics. They've given countless people a second chance at life, and it all began with a single resistor, a moment of curiosity, and a relentless drive to innovate. So what can we learn from Wilson Greatbatch's journey? Let's reflect on the lessons hidden within this incredible story. Mistakes can lead to breakthroughs. Imagine if Great Batch had discarded that misassembled circuit as just another failed attempt. Instead, he paused, listened, and saw possibility where others saw error. 
Life-changing innovations often hide in plain sight if we're willing to look closely. Persistence overcomes doubt. Picture the weight of rejection Great Batch carried as doctors laughed at his idea. Yet he pressed on, driven by a belief that his invention could make a difference. His story reminds us that true visionaries don't give up when others doubt them. They double down. Collaboration fuels progress. Great Batch couldn't have done it alone. His partnership with Dr. Chardak turned a brilliant idea into a tangible reality. Sometimes, solving big problems requires bridging disciplines and uniting expertise. Small innovations have big impacts. Think about it. A tiny device no larger than a matchbox has saved millions of lives. Innovation doesn't have to be grandiose to be transformative. Solving one specific problem can ripple outward, touching countless lives. Let's take a moment to imagine the world before the pacemaker. Millions of people lived in fear of sudden cardiac arrest, their days numbered by the ticking clock of an irregular heartbeat. Now, picture the joy of a parent hearing their child say I love you because a pacemaker gave them extra years, or the relief of a spouse holding hands with their partner, knowing that technology stepped in to keep a heart beating. Wilson Great Batch's story teaches us that greatness often begins with humility, an openness to learn from mistakes and see opportunities where others see failure. His invention didn't just change medicine, it redefined what's possible in the fight against heart disease. So the next time you face a setback, remember Great Batch's resistor. Sometimes the smallest missteps lead to the greatest strides. Be curious, stay resilient, and trust that your efforts might just save a life or change the world. Because in the end, the stories we tell ourselves about what's possible define the limits of our world and the boundaries of our potential.